Dreams end. That's all there is. Now we return with more of Chrono Trigger DS. We went through the Black Omen and boy was it long. Now there's only one path that waits. What's straight ahead? The final battle has officially begun. Stand with me in this battle. Ayla, no lose! And we listen to the theme of world revolution. Laser beams. Arms open the doors to oblivion. Yeah, we better be ready for it. Yep, we're now at the final boss of this game. And trust me, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Not only that, you're also listening to the theme of World Revolution. I will also say that Lavos reminds me of Cell. Yeah, since this game was made by Akira Toriyama, because yeah, that's what I noticed. Fine, let's see how you like this. This has just made it all the more satisfying that the end is here. Though if you do lose here, you get the bad ending. Just letting you know that right now. Just make sure you heal up considerably if you wish to survive. Trust me. When will they go down? Oh uh, yeah, arm revives the body. Well, not for long it won't. Curse. Disable status ailment immunity! Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Now it unleashes Dark Will. Now with this, this made the situation a lot worse. Now enters an umbral embrace. Final is the lever of the 3D attack. Lavos, no matter what you do, you're not going to stop us. Wow. That's deadly. Honestly, that is deadly, but seriously, you're putting more of an effort than I thought. Evil emanation, and it raises Lavos' attack power now. I better hurry on this though, because if not, we're in trouble. Darn, you had to attack, did you, Ayla? Not nice. Just gotta keep on going till we take it down. 3D attack is the strongest one I know. And that's it. What manner of evil is this? 
It looks to possess the strength of every bird and beast ever to have lived upon this earth. That must be the reason it is here. Yes, and in its sleep, it hoarded what it gleaned from all our progress. Such a vile being. We do not live for your ends. Ail no run. Hate lose. Hate run more. Murderer. Will not be used by the likes of you. Ail no lose. This sailor home. La not Lavos home. Lavos lose. Or as I would say it in the SNES version, you outsider, you're not a part of this planet's life. <laughs> Now we reach the final battle itself. Yeah, we now face off against Lavos. This is Lavos in its final form. And bear in mind, we may be in for heck. There are Lavos core along with two bits. Yeah, I should mention the right bit is the true Lavos core. Just letting you know that. And it's also changing up its strategy. You think that's going to help you? Nope. Oh, the left bit also heals it with 1000 HP. It doesn't really matter much if we all have powerful attacks that can wipe you out. You know that, right, Lavos? A diabolic whisper. Random status ailment. We have status immunity. It will not work. Why must you do this? And it's shifting again, this time now in the Magus' lair at 600 AD. And it drains MP. Yeah, try this on for size then. What a final battle this is. Who would have thought we'd made it this far? Demon Star. Halves HP from everyone. Yep, that's bad. Now this is really starting to get really scary. Yeah, you can keep healing. It's not going to help you. Hang on one minute, and we're back. Yeah, thank God this game has a pause button. Yeah, I'm thankful for it. And it's shifting yet again, this time to the future. Yeah, this could actually be really bad for us. And it won't give up no matter what, huh? Fine. Fine, I'll just use up I'll just use up what I have. Dream Reaver, ultimate magical attack. Hopefully I have the strength and HP to withstand it. Yes I do. I'm surprised we actually withstood that. Temporal shifts again, this time now to the Age of Antiquity. You know that's not gonna work, right? Fine, then a 3D attack will have to do. Lavo's core lowers its defenses. Good, now we can be able to go all out against it. When its defenses are lowered, that means you gotta use your strongest attacks. Now its defenses are down. 
Let her hit it where it hurts. All right. When his defense is completely down, we can now take the fight to him. Resurrect revives Lavos Pods. Not again. Fine, you leave me little choice then. Defense lowered as a result due to the use of the Resurrect. That makes it better. Oh, really? That gotta hurt? Please. Better make sure I use a Falcon Strike. And it's shifting again, now back to the present. Its defenses is restored, but here's my problem. You do that when not realizing you lost the pod. And without one of your pods, you're not going to be able to fight back. Now it decides to lower its defenses again. Better hurry and step it up, though. Nice. Let's hope this works. And you resurrect the pods again. Not good. Let's hope it's enough. Oh, I always keep saying that because I'm always so hopeful. Now back at prehistory. Fine. Yeah, you can keep on restoring your defenses, but your defenses will get lowered repeatedly. Grand Stone, ultimate physical attack! Though I should hurry and heal, and fast. All right, then I'm pretty much covered. Yeah, I don't have much else because I'm just so focused on the fight. And the fight can be a bit... insane. Defense is down, now we engage. And it revives the pods again. You know what this means, right? Falcon Strike. Yeah, you have to just repeat. It's a repeated process. You just keep going until he's completely done for. Oh, wait, that's it? Nice, it's over. Wake up and get your wretched body out of bed. Really? Your stay of execution has been withdrawn. You will accompany us to the castle now where we will carry out your sentence. We've been searching high and low for you, Krona. Where did you take my daughter? 
Daddy, no! Chrono hasn't done a thing! My daughter says Chrono has done nothing. What do you think of that, Chancellor? If I may speak freely, Your Grace, I think your daughter is quite clearly delusional. Chrono's deeds have impacted the entire kingdom. The Chancellor, too? What's the matter with you? Please, just listen to me. There's a reason I've been gone. You see, we had to... Save the future? What? You saved the future and taught us what it is to have hope. You defeated Magus' troops and restored peace to the realm in the year 600. Kuro beat Reptites! What's going on? Why are you all here? Luca, you brought them here, didn't you? You undertook quite a daunting mission. These past and future members of our line told me all about it. Members of our line? You mean these people are all my ancestors and descendants? Here I was fussing about rules when you're off protecting our kingdom and the life of the entire planet. I believe a victory parade is in order. Tonight we celebrate you, the hero who saved the world. Now Nadia, why don't you go and enjoy the last night of the fair? At least she's happy about it. Come along with Chrono, our hero! Come along with Princess Nadia, home safe at last! May Guardia prosper for another thousand years! Let the Moonlight Parade begin! <laughs>
You're right. Who needs words? Aw, you know what's a happy ending when the princess kisses the frog. So, you're going to search for Shala? Luca, I will keep working hard in the future. What's wrong, Luca? Aren't you gonna say goodbye to Robo? So, you realized. Realized what? Robo was born in a bleak future. When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. The world will never be ruined now. Robo may not exist in the new future. <laughs> Do not be ridiculous. The new future will certainly have a place for me. Darn it, Robo! Don't pretend you don't care when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. You are the one who taught me to consider the feelings of others in that manner, Luca. I am grateful for that. Don't cry, Luca. I'm sure Robo will still be built in the new future. Goodbye. Caution. Oil has occluded my vision sensors. Sight diminished. Do you remember that talk we had? You mean about whether our lives flash by before we die? Yeah, I get the feeling that Entity is finally at rest too. Yes, I feel it too. It's awfully easy to mess things up traveling through time. We should probably dismantle the Epoch, shouldn't we? We'd never be able to see any of the others again though. You naughty thing, come back here! See, Chrono? Pets run away when you don't feed them. Hey! Come back here! This is bad! Oh no! Chrono, that gate will never open again! Well, it looks like we have no choice but to go after them. Go after them? But the gate's already... Luca. You don't mean... We still have a time machine. <laughs> oh, there you are, Princess. His Grace is looking for you. I'm happy, you know. Now there's no reason for you to be running off anymore. I have a gift for you, Nadia, to commemorate this day. This is Nadia's bell. It'll ring out across the land. Pretty, isn't it? King Nadia, could you and where did everyone go? Could could someone please lend me a hand? Thanks for the gift, but I have places to be. Phew, made it just in time. Shall I fire a few off? No, Teva, not now. Actually, I could really use your... And there you have it. That is Chrono Trigger DS. Now, normally this would be the last episode if I was doing it on the Super Nintendo. But I'm actually doing this on the DS, but there are still more that we have to finish. And yeah, this game was made by a dream team of people who came in and made something that's just nigh incredible. I'm actually not kidding. Everything about this game is just so awesome and it makes you wonder how this game still stands the test of time as an amazing game. I really truthfully mean that. It's just really incredible.
but I'll be fair, this thing also holds a place in my heart. Back about more than 11 years ago, like around 2007, I was on thinking what I should do, and I thought about it for a while, and I decided to do videos of Chrono Trigger, which was pretty much the first game I ever covered, aside from Gundam Seed Battle Assault, which was on the Game Boy Advance. But when I played Chrono Trigger back then on the SNES, it was still just as enjoyable as I remember. I still enjoy it then, and I still do now. My only regret was not doing a playthrough of it when I was younger. How times have changed. However, nowadays, things can't be said the same about how this YouTube channel is. Why should I worry about being all negative all the time? The reason why I am is because, well, look at it, it's not even doing much. And even though I made an update that detailed some real talk, there was someone who was kind enough to provide some tough criticism. But like I said, this game is just truly awesome. I loved everything about it, and I still do to this day. It still holds up, and, I, and you could still play it, whether it be on the SNES, which you can enjoy as a classic, or the DS version, which adds a lot more. There's also the iOS and Steam versions, and thankfully the Steam version is getting fixed up. I guess from all the negativity that Square Enix got, at least they're taking it upon themselves to actually fix it. Which I will commend them for. But I truthfully wish these guys can actually put a bit of effort. I mean, is it so wrong to actually put effort in a game that means something? I mean, is it really that hard to ask? Either way, I don't regret spending $40 on a video game as good as this. Now I own a piece of history. A piece of history that's never gonna go away. No matter what. Even a hundred years from now and people in the future won't remember this, there will be some that will say that this game is just a classic. So yeah, what happens now? Simple. There's still two more parts left and I'll be finally done with this game. Hopefully I'll be starting 358 over two days. I only hope for better or worse that this will help my channel out. And if not, I don't really know what to do because I have a lot to think about. A lot of thinkering, I mean, a lot of thinking, pondering what to do, etc. I need to figure out what I should do if I am to survive. Someone suggests I make a new channel. But if I were to do that, what will it do me? I don't know. But only time will tell. Only time will tell. I haven't made a decision yet. But like I said, this game is just awesome and I love it a lot. I truly do, I mean that. So yeah, I'll leave you guys with the rest of the credits, and that's going to be it. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button, it really does mean a lot to me. And I will see you when we continue this. We're not finished with this game yet. This is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out.